Morning guys, question for you. Does your local car dealership lie to you? More accurately, does the service department of your car dealership lie to you? Do they maybe embellish or exaggerate some of the maintenance that your car needs? We see some excessive wear here. Looks like you got a slight leak there. You may want to consider having X, Y, or Z done. I mean, while you're here. That's what I'm going to be investigating today. All right, quick backstory, so bear with me. I take my charger to the dealership for routine maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations, things like that. Now I do that because even though when I bought the car it was used, it was still under warranty, and this way I'd have a service record, and also if they found anything, then hopefully it might be covered under the warranty still. That, it just saves me the hassle, and I can be getting other things done while, you know, routine type maintenance is getting done elsewhere. It just frees me up for other things. But the last two times that I had the charger in for service, the dealership found things. Things that I think I would have noticed. So I'm gonna pull the charger into the garage, get it up on stands and see what I can see. And you guys are gonna see them the same time I do. Since I have less than a thousand miles to go until my next service, I really want to get these issues checked out. So the first issue showed up two services ago, or just about 9,000 miles ago. I was told that the bushings on the control arms on the front end of the charger were starting to show some excessive wear. Cracks in the rubber, things like that. Now, I would think that would be something that I would have noticed. Possibly some noise in the front end, maybe some weird feeling in the steering. I don't know. I would just think that if the control arms are starting to go and there's maybe some excessive play in the front end that I would have noticed that. Let's get the tires pulled off, crawl under there and see what we can see. All right guys, I'm gonna bring you in here for a little bit of a closer look and let's see what we can see. Got a light, some gloves. Let's get in here and have a look. Back up here. All right, so first things first, let's look at, try to find you guys a good angle. Let's look at the lower bushings. I don't feel any. That's just the caliper hitting the, the brake pad there. There's no moving. Uh, upper. There's no like thunking or movement or flexing that I can notice. I mean, I don't even know how much pressure that would really take, but let's take a look back. Let's go back to the lower here, bring you in closer. So let's see if we can. So here's the A, one of the bushings. This is more like a, it's more like a sway bar bushing. Don't see anything there. Now the control arm bushing is down inside here and it's pretty snug. I don't even really see. I mean, I could see a little bit of rubber. I don't even know if I can get you guys in there to, look, to see anything. But from what I'm able to see, I don't see any signs. Let's see if I can of anything there. The front bushing right here same thing Let's see if I can give you guys a good shot there's some I think that's rubber up inside there but again I can't see anything any kinds of any signs of anything um 
as far as this the rear one rear lower which is right back in there I'm gonna get up under oh, there's a skid plate down there so I can't even see and then there's the cross member back there so I can't even really get behind that bushing so I don't know how they were determining that my bushings are wearing out I really couldn't tell you I don't see anything let's uh head over to the passenger side we'll take a look over there all right actually before I head over to the passenger side I was crawling around under the driver's side and I did find something let me see if I can get you in there it's really tight <laughs> Have to take you off the stand right here so this is the strut let me see if I can give you a better shot so right there's the strut it comes down and bolts to the lower control arm right here right up inside there give you a good shot of that can you see that there's a little, couple of little cracks in the rubber right there. So I'm guessing that's what they're talking about. That is the only issue that I was... That was the only issue I was able to find under the driver's side. Let's go over to the passenger side and have a look now. All right, the passenger side had similar cracking in that bushing where the shock or the strut joins with the lower control arm right there. Um, but it was even less than the driver's side. So was the dealership lying? No. Exaggerating or embellishing, maybe. I mean, they did say that, you know, it wasn't a, an immediate concern, but it was something that I want to keep an eye on. So, yeah, I guess they were mostly truthful on that. Um, that. That's something that I'll probably, I am planning on eventually maybe going, maybe lowering the front end, uh, coilovers or something like that at some point. So when all that gets done, those bushings will get replaced at that time. At this point, I'm not worried about it. Let's move on to the second issue. So the second issue is here in the back. So let's come around. So the dealership said that, now this was the last service, so 4,100 miles ago about, they said that my rear differential was leaking. Funny, I don't seem to have any indication of a differential leak here in, a, in my driveway. I mean, I usually back in so right about here, I would think there would be some evidence of a leak. I don't see anything. Let's crawl up under the car. Once again, I got my trusty Harbor Freight light here. And let's crawl up under here and have a look. Well, there's nothing, nothing on the bottom of the case at all. Uh, where the CVs join up with the side. Nothing on the passenger side that I can see. I mean, I would think if there was a leak, there would be fluid coming down low, you know, running down the side. Nothing on that side. You guys able to see it right? I can't really tell. And the driver's side, my light might be getting in the way. Light on top of the camera, that is. But again, no fluid like, like down here running down. Let's go look, try to look at the pinion. So again, the pin, here's the pinion. Here's where the axle enters the differential. That looks um, pretty uh, bone dry to me. Let's go back to the CVs here. Try to get a good one of the axle shafts coming out. Try to get a good view inside there. That all looks pretty, uh, 
pretty bone dry to me all over down here. There is zero indication of any rear differential leak. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I mean, I've had some really good service at that dealership and obviously some questionable service. Something I'm gonna have to uh, keep in mind the next time I'm there. Really, I've got a leak? Show me. Hope you guys got some good information from this. I would say keep this in mind the next time you're getting your car worked on. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you on the next one.